Okay, you're welcome back. You're welcome back. I'm Ali Adi Jibaba. Today is my name. And like I said in the first video, uh, we were talking about cash scarcity. And the first video was able to address the main concept of cash scarcity, what cash scarcity means. So this video, we are going to be talking about the reasons for cash scarcity. Why? Why? Like, what exactly is happening why are we having cash scarcity number one the first reason why cash scarcity can happen is monetary policy monetary policy monetary policy there is just a situation whereby the central bank comes up with policy that intentionally creates a shortage of cash supply into the economy remember the main volume driver of cash in the economy is the central bank they determine how much of cash circulates in a particular economy so when central bank places a restriction intentional shortage of cash intentional pumping of physical cash into the economy cash scarcity is bound to happen cash scarcity is bound to happen and this is usually done to maybe curb inflation to curb corruption there are so many reasons why monetary policies they put in place monetary they, they um, establish monetary, poli monetary policies and uh, one of the reason is to curb inflation maybe second reason to curb corruption and so many other reasons that i may not be able to talk about here the second reason why we have um, cash scarcity is when we have changes in the economic cycle. Maybe, for example, we are moving from um, we are moving into recession. I'm not saying we are moving into recession. I'm saying, for example, if we are moving into recession, if it will definitely affect the supply of cash into that economy. And so when we are recovering, maybe we are moving out from resection into the recovery mode, it will definitely affect the supply of cash into that economy. Another reason is this natural disaster. So let's let's assume that the structures that have been put in place to ensure that cash gets um, cash gets into the economy, maybe central bank or commercial bank or store anywhere get bonds now or maybe there is an earthquake or a storm or anything it will affect the supply of cash into that economy there is a probability that cash will be channeled and focused on that natural natural disaster that has happened or that is happening so that will affect the supply of cash into the economy the fourth is financial crisis. When there is a financial crisis in a particular country or nation, it affects cash um, supply, which definitely causes cash scarcity. For example, if all the major banks in Nigeria are experiencing financial crisis, what do you think will happen to cash? There definitely will be, um, it definitely will have effects on the supply of cash into the economy. Another reason why cash scarcity can take place or can happen is when we have logistics issues. We all know that cash comes from the central bank to the commercial bank down to the hand users. And the major transportation of cash from the central bank to the commercial bank is through bullion vans. Now, imagine if we have logistic issues, logistics issues with the bullion van. There will definitely be lack of supply of cash from the central bank to the commercial bank, which will definitely affect the hand users. And there will be scarcity of cash in that economy. Another reason why we can have scarcity of cash is political unrest. During political unrest, there usually there is usually hoarding of cash. And it causes a declination in the supply of cash into the economy. The last but not the least reasons why we can have cash scarcity 
is when we have inefficient banking system inefficient banking system when we have inefficient banking system it will affect the management and control of cash in the economy and when that happens cash supply will be affected and remember when cash supply is affected it will definitely lead to cash scarcity so we've talked about the monetary policy we've talked about the changes in economic um we've talked about the changes in economic conditions we've talked about the natural disasters we've talked about the political unrest we've talked about uh, logistics issues we've talked about uh, inefficient banking system these are reasons why cash scarcity can take place thank you very much for joining this session watch out for the next video where we'll be talking about the effect of cash scarcity in the economy till we meet then cheers and god bless you